Lots going on in Leafland. They need a new general manager. They need to know about the future of two of their star players in Austin Matthews and William Nylander. But short on that list is what do they do with the 10 unrestricted free agents that they have going into next season? And there's a few players that I would really like to have back on this team. And let's start with four players that I've identified as players that could be had at a reasonable price that fit what this team needs. And let's start on the back end. Eric Gustafson, defenseman that was brought in from the Washington Capitals, traded for Rasmus Sandin. When you trade someone like Sandin, who you have control over for a longer period of time, you should find a way to keep this player, Gustafson, in the mix with your team. And he showed that he's a great power play option, whether it's on the first unit or the second unit. And his puck moving ability out of his own zone would be a welcome attribute for this Toronto Maple Leafs blue line. Staying on the blue line, Luke Shen. He's a player that the Maple Leafs don't have an abundance of. A big, strong, physical defenseman. He was outstanding in the playoffs, and he brought the best out of Morgan Riley. I would love to see Luke Shen stick around, and they could find a way to make that money work for him. Up front, David Camp. He's been so versatile for this team for the last two seasons and very resilient. He's played in a lot of games. He's eaten a lot of miles for this team. And he's one of those guys that's reliable. He plays on the penalty kill. And if he's your fourth line center, you're in pretty good shape down the middle of the ice. And a player they got from the St. Louis Blues, Noel Achari. I just like the fact that Noel Achari wins a lot more battles than he loses. And there's a little bit of offense there lower in the lineup to be had. So those are four players where you can find a way to make the money work and you don't overpay. Now, I didn't mention Ryan O'Reilly. I didn't mention Michael Bunting. Of course, you would like to have both those players back, but it's going to depend on the price tag. Ryan O'Reilly, if he gets somewhere around five and a half million dollars, are you willing to spend that much money on him? And Michael Bunting, if he's going to make four, four and a half million dollars, we don't know what the price is going to be. But if that's the kind of price tag you're looking at for Michael Bunting, can you make that work? I'm not so sure. So there's four players with reasonable price tags that I would like to see back on the Toronto Maple Leafs next season. That could work. And two players in O'Reilly and Bunting that if you can make the money fit, I would like to see them back.